Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for the final part, hopefully, for best albums of 2021 video. And this is going to be the for the last seven that are left of the in the top ten of best albums of 2021. So I'm going to discuss what I'm going to where I left off, which is number seven to hopefully if I get to one. And let you know what I thought of these albums. So let's dive into part 7 of Best Albums of 2021. Now at number 7 is Star Set with Horizons. Now I really enjoyed the runtime it was going for. Um, I think Tunnel Vision was my least favorite, honestly. I think it still is a bit. But not to the extent where I hate it. I just think it's an alright song. Something Wicked, I personally found it to be a great closer. I know some other people may say, eh, it's not the best. But I think it's a great closer, uh, in my opinion. But, yeah, Infected was a very good song. So was Dreamcatcher. Uh, Symbiotic was good. This Endless Endeavor, this Endless Endeavor, I meant to say, was a very good song. So was uh, Disappear, then Alchemy, uh, Annihilated Love, The Evolution, Leaving This World Behind, um, Earthrise, Icarus is my personal favorite song, Otherworldly, The Breach, and uh, Unveiling the Architecture. So Unveiling the Architecture is just an interlude to the album. The intro track, I should say, but it's still a great song. So, at number seven, I picked Star Set with Horizons. Alright, at number six is While She Sleeps with Sleep Society. Now, this was another good album from them. I think this was better than So What, honestly. So What was good, but not to the point where I loved it. I think this was the better album. At first, when I listened to it, I wasn't sure what to think of it, but after coming back to it multiple times, I really love this album. Uh, it, it's a great album, start to finish. Uh, there's Enlightenment, which is the opening track. The end, the final track, was a great closer. Uh, it's like seven minutes of them talking, the bandmates. Uh, Sleep Society, my favorite song. Systematic. It was a great song. Sorry, I kind of burnt for a second. Uh, Nervous featuring Simon Neal was pretty good. You Are All You Need is a very great track. Uh, give me a moment. I got to pause the video. Sorry, guys. Had to pause the video for a second. My mom was calling me for a moment. If you heard Brian and all that. Um, yeah. While She Sleeps, his new album was really good. I love... Uh, Moments like, uh, the, what is it, Defeat for the Brave, No Defeat for the Brave, um, Division Street was really good, and so was the final song, Call of the Void, I think is what it's called, I'm not sure if I said the right name for it, but still, really good album, and definitely check this album out and purchase it for sure. Because it's worth owning. So at number six is While She Sleeps with Sleep Society. Alright, we're in the top five now. At number five is Trivium again. Within the Court of the Dragon this time. With their new album. Last year they made it at my number five spot. But it can differentiate with where they'd be at now. But still, they did a pretty impressive job on this album. I really love in the Court of the Dragon. Um, title track's great. Uh, like a Sword Over Damocles was very good. Um, Feast of Fire, not my personal favorite. I think it's one of my least favorites, but it's not bad. Um, then No Way Back Just Through was pretty good. Pretty good. In the Shadow of the Arbiter was one of my favorites. And The Phalanx was a great track. Some other tracks too were pretty good too. Like uh, Fall Into Your Hands was a very amazing song. So they did really good on this album, honestly. So 
good job on this, Matt Heafy, for putting out a very good album with your band Trivium. And you made it in the top five. So, you know, on my list, of course. So, yeah, number five was Trivium with In the Court of the Dragon. Number four is Love and Death with Perfectly Preserved. Now, they are mostly a Christian rock band, a hard rock band, but it didn't seem like they were going with that kind of sound with this album. And I enjoyed Death of Us. That was one of my favorite songs. Uh, the song with Keith Wallen, The Hunter, was really good. Um, yeah, and there were some other songs on here that were really nice. Uh, like Let Me Love You, the cover track for the Justin Bieber song that DJ Snake did with Justin Bieber, I believe, is the artist that did it with Justin Bieber. Not sure. This had Lacey Sturm in the song, and this was a good cover, for sure. I really loved it, for 100%. Down was my favorite, so was, uh, what was that song? Um, it's track number two. I own the CD, of course. I had to get a copy of it, because it's worth it owning. So at number four was Love and Death with Perfectly Preserved. Number three is Demon Hunter with Songs of Death and Resurrection. Now, I enjoyed the first song. That was really nice. Um, Loneliness, the resurrected version, was really good. Um, then there's Praise the Void, which I really love that song. It's kind of a very dark and sad album, honestly. But that's what they were going for. Um, My Heartstrings Come Undone was pretty good. So was uh, some other tracks like um, track 11. Can't remember the name of the song, but I remember quite a bit of this album. But it's a acoustic album, but it's really nice. And I think you guys will love it. So it made it at number three on this list. So at number three was Demon Hunter with Songs of Death and Resurrection. All right, at number two is Dream Theater with A View from the Top of the World. It would be my number one, but I saved the best for last, honestly. In my opinion, I think I know what number one's going to be. And I think you guys will be happy to see that it's number one album of the year on my list. Uh, but to talk about number two... Dream Theater did a very good job on their album. It would have been number one, like I said. I was planning on doing it, but it was a battle between this other band versus Dream Theater. And it they were neck and neck on making best albums and all that. Or album of the year, I should say. But Sleeping Giant was a great song. I really love it. Invisible Monster... It does have a darker vibe to it, but it's still a great song, in my opinion. Um, a View from the Top of the World, great song. It's 20 minutes. It's a long song, but it's very good. Uh, then there's Awaken the Master. Then Transcending Time. Uh, answering the Call and the Alien. I know some people think the Alien's the weakest, but uh, people that I know thought alien was the weakest song the alien but i personally love it that's just my opinion and this album does deserve a 10 out of 10 because it's that fucking good so <laughs> excuse my language but it's that fucking good uh but still at number two is dream theater with a view from the top of the world great album james labrie's vocals in it is very good and they did an excellent job on this one so, yeah, at number one, drum roll, please, Era with the self-titled album. This is the best album of the year, in my opinion. But I know Dream Theater would have been album of the year, but I sh kind of shied away from them getting album of the year, in my opinion. But they came very close, really close, honestly. Um, Era did a impressive job on their new album. Jesse Cash's vocals in this is really good. So is JT Cavey's, Joseph Cavey's vocals. 
uh, well, I should go by his nickname, JT. His vocals are very good, and his screaming vocals, I should say. Electric Twilight's a great song. Shadow Autonomous is one of my favorites. Uh, Vanish Canvas is a great one. Lunar Halo was a great song. Scorpion Hymn was a banger. Uh, Gun Grave was pretty good. So was uh, Snow Blood. Um, Divisionary was pretty good. Uh, there were some other ones like Remnant, Idolin, uh, the fourth track, House of Glass, and finally, the last song, Memory Fiction, was a banger to close the album out. I love how Joe's JT KV's vocals can be clean at times, and then he does majority of screams that sound really good. And this album definitely had some space vibes in it, closer to the, I guess, the bridge part, and towards, I think it was Electric Twilight and Lunar Halo, and then Vanish Canvas that took it out of the space-like feel kind of song, and made it into an interesting going-down-to-earth kind of song. So it's pretty cool of a song, but yeah... That's what it makes you feel like, this era album, and I really enjoyed this whole album from start to finish. So, yeah, number uh, one is Era with their self-titled album. Congratulations, Era. You made number one on my list. That's going to be it for uh, the best albums of 2021 videos, and yeah, Era... Uh, deserves a pat on the back because they got album of the year on my list because they did very fucking good with their new album um but yeah comment below let me know what you guys thought of the mm, best albums of 2021 videos if you enjoyed them today i'm sorry that i dragged it out for quite a while six hours honestly i'm drained right now <laughs> But if you did enjoy this best albums of 2021 videos from parts 1 to 7, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for uh, the gaming stream tonight. Hopefully if I get around to it. I might do it a little early. I haven't decided yet, but I'll give you an update on if I do it early or not. But Anyways, stay safe, guys. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the final part for Best Albums of 2021. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And as always, I will see you in my next video.